Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create a rendering in 3ds Max using Arnel Renderer. So this is an outdoor scene and uh, we have already seen how to model the tree and I'll put the link to the tree modeling assignment below. Uh, what we will do is uh, we will add an environment. So we'll have uh, a landscape, a sky, and then we'll look at how to do the light setup to create this rendering. So you can see that uh, if you look at the landscape, the top of the mountains are brown and as you come down, it becomes green. So we'll look at how to create this, how to use a, a sky image for the background and use Arnold for rendering. Okay. So I am in 3ds Max and uh, you can look at the tutorial uh, link below to see how to model this tree. So once the tree is ready, we will do the setup for the, the ground plane now. All right. So we'll create a plane and we'll create a slightly large size plane. Okay, we can place it there because we'll have a camera. And at the same time, we will create a camera because all our setup will be based on what you can see through the camera. Also, you can see that the rendering was long. Let us open that rendering again. Uh, why I use this resolution is because uh, I'm going to create a tutorial on how to create a, an app for a portfolio of your work all right so that can be seen on a mobile so you can have all your images uh, in the landscape mobile view and then you can simply scroll by scrubbing through the images on your mobile all right so that's why i'm using a 400 by 800 uh, resolution for the mobiles so having said that we'll create a physical camera Okay, so the camera is going to point towards the tree and then we'll move it up. Okay, so a human is much shorter than the tree, so he's going to look up to the tree. Okay, so that's important. So we'll go from perspective to camera view and then we'll turn on show save frame then we'll go to render settings and change the width to 400 and the height to 800 okay so you get that uh, mobile resolution so it looks like the camera is set up properly now you can move it around so that the tree is kind of in the center. All right, so that looks good. Okay, so what we will do is we'll select all the parts of the tree and move it slightly down so it's inside. All right. So to create the unevenness, I will convert this into an editable patch. Okay, and because of that, what you can do is you can select one element and then simply move up and you can see that it is nice and smooth. And then you can move it on the side or so. Okay, and then maybe you can select these and move all of these up. And create some mountains we can do some the front here and maybe it's not covering the entire ground so we can select this and slightly move it up maybe you can select this and slightly move down 
all right so that is basically how you can create an uneven surface uh, for the landscape okay what i can do is i can simply go and create a plane the front view here and move it all the way to the back for the sky and I'm going to move it away from this so that the shadow of this mountain doesn't fall on that object and we need it big and wide okay so that's for the sky now if you go to render settings we are using Arnold. We are rendering the camera and we will log the camera. Okay, so I'm going to save this file as tree. Save the file. Okay, and then if you hit the render button with the default settings, you can see that. It's too much light so I'll cancel this and now we will do some lighting so we'll go to add a light and we will select Arnold light and then we will create a light which falls from far away onto the tree and that light will be high up Okay, so now if you hit the render button, now the scene is being lit with that one light in the scene, and you can see it is very dark. Okay, so we'll cancel this, and we need another light, and this light doesn't need to be in a specific place, you just click on it. Okay, so this light, the first one, is a quad light, and then we will make it. 50 by 50 size okay and then maybe we can make the spread to point one so the shadows are sharp the other light is going to be a sky dome okay and then let us see what happens with the default settings now it's way too much light so we need to reduce the exposure of this light. So this light will make the exposure to 1 from 8 and then we'll render it. Now it's still very bright. So we'll make the intensity 0.1. Okay, and now you can see that the scene is well lit. But the shadow is not very sharp. Okay, the shadow is quite spread. So we'll select this light and then we'll try to bring it down. And the samples, we will increase it to 3. Okay, and then now let us see how the shadow works. Okay, so the shadow is still not very clear, so I'll cancel this, make it maybe 6. That was 1. Maybe this distance should be smaller too. The smaller this is, the sharper the will lead this to point 1. So now let us see what we get.
we will further increase the exposure also 12 okay now you can see that the shadow is better with the higher exposure value 